Hi, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. Come along with me and my family as we celebrate a staycation in Washington, D.C. Hi, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. This week is spring break, and I'm gonna bring you along as we're taking a staycation in the DC area, and we're gonna be checking out a lot of fun places. Today, I'm with my husband, Michael, and my daughter, Sadie, who you might've seen in some of my videos. And we're going to Monticello today, Thomas Jefferson's home. We're really excited about this because this is something that my husband and I both did as kids and really enjoyed. So hopefully it turns into a fun day. When we first got to Charlottesville, we stopped at Mickey Tavern, which was a family-friendly uh, buffet restaurant with a colonial theme. We really enjoyed the desserts there. It was a nice place to stretch our legs and walk around and see the grist mill and the gift shops. When we visited Monticello, we started out in the visitor's center and we were able to view one of 50 copies of the Declaration of Independence. This was interesting to us because later in our spring break, we planned to go to the National Archives and view the original document. Monticello is a beautiful home. It was designed by Thomas Jefferson himself. He was an architect. Um, as the home was being built, he visited France and then came back and redesigned the home to add some of the architectural details that he had learned about on his visit to France. Um, I was also interested to learn that he also brought macaroni and cheese to America um, from France, uh, which is definitely something I am appreciative of. Throughout the home, there was a lot of eclectic artwork that we were able to enjoy. We took a family friendly tour and at the end of the tour, there were some colonial games for children to play and there was a chance for them to write their name with the feather pen and ink. Monticello is on a beautiful property and I think it'd be a great place to visit in the fall. Hey, we're having a little bit of a girl's day today. We are at the mall. We're going to check out this exhibit, Candytopia, that's visiting our mall and have some Shake Shack and later we're going to have pedicures. We ended up going to Shake Shack for lunch, which is a burger and fry place. I ended up ordering the chicken sandwich because I really like it there. And my daughter is a hot dog fan. I had a chocolate milkshake and she had vanilla. I tried the truffle fries out for the first time there and it did not disappoint. I was visiting the mall with a young girl, so of course we had to stop at the American Girl Store. If you have never been to one of these stores before, they are completely over the top. Our store even has a restaurant where you can dine with your doll. I enjoyed looking around and especially enjoying the 80s doll that they have. Courtney it definitely has a nostalgic feel for me. We were able to pick up a gift for a friend and enjoyed our time browsing around. Next, we went to Candytopia, which is an immersive exhibit that is traveling around. It's a bit like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory when you enter and you go through different rooms that are each themed slightly different. I really enjoyed the room that was like an art museum and we were able to get lots of fun pictures there.
there were many interactive fun things for kids. There were swings in two of the different rooms and there was a marshmallow pit, which was extra fun. That was the only area where we did have to um, get out and move on because another group was waiting. Throughout the exhibit, um, there were different photo opportunities. And at the end, the photos were emailed to you. You could purchase them or you could just download them on your phone, which I totally did. I really loved the pictures. The pictures were um, taken in different spots where maybe the camera was on the ceiling or a slightly different angle than you would be able to get on your own. There was a room that was decorated all with confetti and it was so much fun. It was a little odd because the confetti was getting blasted out of the behind of a pig, which was a little bit unusual, but I was able to get into it. Um, we found confetti for days after going through this. We just finished up at Candytopia, which was a wild time. Uh, so we're glad that we planned pedicures for the end of the day. We're at a mall that's really close to the mall that we were just at to get those pedicures. Sadie, what did you think of Candytopia? I loved it. It was so fun. I loved the marshmallow pool room. That was really fun. My favorite part was definitely the art room. We definitely recommend Candytopia. At the second mall that we went to for the pedicures, I got to visit my favorite store, Lily Pulitzer. You probably noticed from my videos, it is by far my favorite designer. Once I found her, all the rest of the clothes in the world just seemed plain. Hi, it's Tuesday of our spring break and today we're going to the National Art Gallery this morning. We're going to an electronic art exhibit later called Art House. We're going to check out Gordon Ramsay's Fish Restaurant for lunch and then we're going to check out a new museum in DC called the Museum of the Bible. We're waiting for our train right now. Thankfully we live on the metro line so this is actually a pretty easy trip for us today to get in and out of the city. We got down to the National Mall a little bit early. The art museum is there behind us. We're just hanging out on the mall until the museum opens at 10. Most of the Smithsonian's here open at 10. Of course, the Washington Monument is right there behind me. Over here is the Smithsonian Castle and the Hirshhorn, which keeps all of the modern art. We're hopeful to get um, tickets to Yayao Kasuma's exhibit there this week so we can show you that. We actually were able to go last spring break, but you're only able to go in for a few seconds, so it'd be totally worth it to go again. And then if I flip it around this way, you should be able to see the Capitol there in the background. Washington DC is known for its cherry blossoms, so we had to get our obligatory picture as we saw a blooming tree on the mall. Next, we went into the National Gallery of Art, which is one of the Smithsonian Museums, so it is free. There are two buildings, an East Gallery and a West Gallery. We did start in the West Gallery and walked around. You really could spend a full day in this museum. We spent probably about half the day there. Um, we came back another time because it's free. You can kind of go in and out. And we came back um, at another point in our spring break to get a few more pictures. But there are many famous works of art uh, that are on view at this museum. A favorite of mine is the Monet paintings that they do have on display because it is some pieces that show him doing his artwork at different times of the day and different seasons. So it's a really nice collection to have these pieces displayed side by side. Of course, we hit up the gift shop. The gift shops between, or the best gift shop rather, is between the East and the West Gallery where they connect. In the East Gallery, there is more of the modern art. And I just love this connection area as you're entering into the East Gallery. There are beautiful Calder Mobile above and you can see some of the other sculptures um, a Giacometti that's up high there um, as well as when you're walking through so it is just an impressive experience
Outside of the National Gallery, there is a National Sculpture Gallery. So this is a fun place to go and relax. There's a large fountain, so it's a nice place to grab a snack and rest your feet for a little while when you're on the National Mall. Just like the Smithsonian, of course, this is free. It's only open during the museum hours, so we weren't able to go into this area early. We had to wait until 10 o'clock. Uh, but there are many, many fun sculptures in this area, and occasionally they do um, change and you see different sculptures come in. For lunch, we went down to the Wharf, which is a newly built up area um, of downtown DC that is really close to where the Tidal Basin is and where the cherry blossoms are. They had um, a lot of cherry blossom theming to the restaurants down there because it was cherry blossom season, being that it was spring. We went to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips restaurant, which was delicious. We gave it two thumbs up. You were able to choose two different sauces and they had chicken and fish and shrimp. Shrimp was our favorite, but um, the fish was a close second. Close by to the wharf and the area of downtown DC where the Spy Museum is located, we visited an immersive exhibit called Arca House. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it was a beautiful immersive experience and they do change the theme from time to time. The theme when we went was butterflies and cherry blossoms. They did have an area which was a bar for adults to partake in some beverages and the beverages could have interactive elements if you used your phone, which I thought was kind of a fun detail. We finished our day by going to the Museum of the Bible. We didn't get a lot of pictures there. Um, there was a lot Lot of information to take in. The Museum of the Bible was not overly religious. Um, it was actually more based upon the history of the Bible. And I would say we were there for maybe two hours and we really didn't get to see everything that we wanted to. And we were moving quite quickly through the museum. It's Wednesday of our spring break and we're headed um, downtown on the Metro again. Today we're going to the Air and Space Museum, which was recently renovated. Um, we're going to spend about an hour there and then we're going to visit the Hirshhorn Modern Art Museum to see the Yayao Kasuma exhibit. After that, we're going to meet my husband for lunch downtown. That's where he works. And we are going to do the Museum of Illusions, which is going to be some great photos, I think, and Planet Word this afternoon. We were excited to get to visit Yayao Kasuma's exhibit, but for us, it was visited again because this exhibit was on display last spring break. So we went again this time to include it in our vlog and to get some more pictures. You're only able to stay in each room for 30 seconds in this first red and white room. And in the darker room, you're allowed to stay in for um, about a minute. So it goes very quickly and there are only two rooms and the viewing of the pumpkin when you enter. Our next stop was that we went to um, the Museum of Illusions, which is a new paid museum in Washington, DC. It was a bit of a tourist trap in that it was quite small. Um, it is very new, so hopefully it will grow maybe and they've got some space to add on to it. But it was fun um, to get pictures and to read about the different illusions. Um, but it was a very small space. There was an infinity room there that we got some great photos at, but it was a quick hour and we were done with that space. 
Our last stop of the day was Planet Word, which is another new paid museum in DC, but this one was a hit. There were many, many immersive um, galleries throughout this museum. It was really hands-on and fun. I thought it was great for children and adults. It's something that I would want to go back and do. It's something when we have people come in to visit, I would want to take them there as well. It's Thursday of our spring break and we're um, down in DC again today. We're going to an immersive exhibit called Dinos Alive. And then we're gonna be having lunch across from the portrait gallery. So I know we're gonna stop in there for a little bit. The noise you're hearing is the Metro going by. Um, this afternoon, we're gonna go to the American History Museum and also the Natural History Museum. And then we have tickets to visit the National Archives. Today was gonna to be the last day of our spring break vlog as we were gonna spend some time with family. But we just found out as we were riding over here that we got tickets to the White House Easter egg roll. So we're gonna be showing a little bit of footage from that on Monday. Last spring break, we went to the immersive Van Gogh exhibit. Uh, and that Van Gogh exhibit is still there, but we went to a new immersive exhibit that was next door to Van Gogh um, and tried this Dinosaurs Alive. It was a fun uh, activity to do. It probably took us about an hour to go through, and there are dinosaurs that move that you can interact with. The light did change a lot, I guess, to simulate maybe that it was nighttime, um, and sometimes they had black lights. So you could see little glowing uh, footprints of the dinosaurs on the ground, but it was a little weird for taking the video and photo because of those light changes. We stopped by the portrait gallery, which is one of my favorites. This is another Smithsonian and it houses a lot of portraits, some from long ago and some um, current portraits as well. In the same building is the American Art Museum, which is a little smaller section of the museum, but has a really interesting place where they have all the portraits of the current president and then goes all the way back to George Washington, our very first president. There are galleries in this um, museum that change from time to time, so it's always a fun place to come back. Now, I always visit the Portrait Gallery because right across the street is my favorite restaurant in Washington, D.C. It is Zatina. It is owned by Jose Andre, and it has got small plates of Mediterranean food, and it is delicious. We really love the bread that they have there, and dipping it into tzatziki and olive oil is fantastic. After lunch, we went to the American History Museum and we were excited to see some of the Muppet characters and some of the figures from Star Wars. This is also the museum that houses uh, Dorothy's ruby red slippers, as well as the American flag that was hanging when the Star Spangled Banner was written. We ended the day by going to the National Archives and viewing the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence. Uh, today is a bonus day of our spring break. We were actually supposed to go back to school, but we got tickets to the White House Easter egg roll, so we are playing hooky to check that out today. Um, we're gonna take advantage of today and go to the old post office tower and see some views of the city this morning and go back to the Natural History Museum and spend a little bit of time there. We're gonna meet up with my husband for lunch and then head over to the White House. Our official tickets are at 3.30, but you have to get there about 45 minutes early to get through security. We met up with my husband for lunch and were able to get the tickets then for the Easter egg roll. We really lucked out with gorgeous weather for the Easter egg roll this year. My daughter and I went to the egg roll station first and she did the traditional egg rolling across the White House lawn. We spent some time getting pictures. As you can tell, there was an egg ucution theme this year, which was super fun and we walked around there are many different activities for children there are different characters that you're um, 
children can pose with for photos as well. And one of the most exciting things we did was we got to meet Rob from Art Hub for Kids. Hey, just wanted to say hi to everyone at Managing the Mess. You guys are awesome. We had a wonderful spring break. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I make videos for art teachers just like you about art room management every single week.